What's up, Sauce? What are you up to? How's it going? This is the Sauce. It's been a while since I've been doing a review. I'm going to do a little review tonight with some I'm just grilling out on the Weber Genesis. We're not going to be frying tonight. We made a huge mess the other night frying some homemade beer batter onion rings, some shrimp. We're going to keep it simple tonight. We're going to just have some Nathan's and throw in a couple slices of pineapple just for, just for the hell. Throw grilled pineapple and couple hot dogs, you can't really go wrong. So we got the grill up to a nice 300 degrees. It's uh, pretty hot. Just throw on these Nathan's real nice. You want two, Tom? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, I'll have two as well. well I'm pretty hungry. Some nice big old Nathan hot dogs. Yeah, long ones. And then the uh, pineapple. Pineapple is really easy uh, to, to grill. <laughs> you, <laughs> you throw are. it on, it gets hot, and you take the shit off. Huh? It's not hard. Pretty easy. So All we right. got our pineapple on and our Nathan's, and let's uh, let's we'll get back to you when we're done. All right. Well, we're gonna check on these hot dogs and uh, pineapple real quick. They look like they are about done. Let me check the bottom side of them. Oh yeah, this is going to be real nice and good. Pineapple's done for sure. Black marks on it. It's good. Take them off. Put them on the plates over there. Good job. All right, I'm gonna bun these up and be ready to go. Get back to you in a minute. As you can see, all of the stuff's done. We got the grilled pineapple, nice, whatever. Doing this uh, pretty much just like Mark does on video beer reviews. It's kind of, kind of got me into the grilling thing. But as you see, I only got mustard, and Tom likes mustard and ketchup. I'm not big on the ketchup. Not too much, but the pineapple we both like. So we're going to chow down, and then we're going to bring you a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, which I think is going to be great after one of these. But uh, let's eat these while they're hot. Let's say, Tom. All right. How's it going? It's the return of the sauce. And Tom. Tom, my buddy here, once again, we're bringing you another awesome beer review in the backyard. It's a little later than usual, but we just had some good food, and I'm pretty full. Yeah, it was good. Two hot dogs and a um, pineapple slice to do it. You full? Yeah. You ready for a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, SNPA? I am. Highly rated on beer. It's a hoppy monster. I haven't had a Sierra Nevada since um, I started getting into fancy beers. And I hadn't had a Sierra Nevada in a long time. And ever, I saw Chad do it the other day. Kind of made me want one. And I had, a, had like four of them last night. And I just remembered how... Pretty happy. Pale ales, I'd been away from a while since we had those, uh, what are they, flying dog? I didn't really like the pale ale, the flying dog. But uh, yeah, Sierra Nevada, pale ale is the second best selling craft beer. They make 700,000 barrels every single year. Yeah, their brewery makes 700,000 barrels. They started off in 1980 as just home brewers. Home brewers Ken Grossman, and they, his name. They've really blown up, apparently. They have blown up. I'm using the Heineken glasses I brought back from Holland last year. Haven't really got a chance to bring them out. Twenty-nine years is a fairly short um, time for a brewery. Yeah, especially yeah. Belgian breweries are very old. But uh. What alcohol percentage is it again? 5.6% alcohol, so it's not that alcoholic. 
It's a very clear beer. Clear, pale, so, bubbly. Effervescent, yeah. Yeah, nice and bubbly. Nice white head. What do you get there? Lots of hops. Piney hops. Very hoppy. This beer just won't sit still. It smells almost as an IPA would. I'm glad a, a pale ale like this has a, a lot of hops and a lot of people like it, so that's good. A lot of mosquitoes out tonight. Yeah. So, wow. It's a hot monster and, uh... It's a, it's a, it's like, a very, uh, fragrant beer. It's pretty floral, but it doesn't, it smells a little sweet. Tiniest bit. Yeah. I just call it a whiff of, like, it almost smell like sweet tea or something. They say it's uh, got pearl and magnum flavoring hops and then uh, got cascade bittering hops. So definitely going to be looking for the taste of those. And it's going to have some caramel malts and two-row pale malts. Does it kind of smell like sweet tea to you? Looks like raspberry, or not raspberry, but uh, some kind of flavored sweet tea. I don't know, I get the sweet, but... Everyone's different. Let's give her a taste. The Heineken mugs, they come in handy. Cheers. Mmm, hoppy. It's a lot of hops and it's, uh, I guess, compensated by a lot of malt. Because uh, you can taste the malt there, too. Yeah, so it's got uh, caramel malts and... Um, the yeah, the caramel malts and the two row pale malts. There's two different types of malts in there. It's a pretty heavy malt, even though it's uh, got a lot of hop It's got like three different types of hops in there. Only one fit, uh, bittering hop, but... Mm. Food tasty. Yep, second best selling craft brew in America, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Behind only one, which is, I'm sure you guys already know, so Tom won't even tell you. He's not even going to tell you, because you we, guys already know. You already know. Tom knows. I know, Tom knows, I know Tom knows, but you guys don't know. They do know, remember? They do know, okay. They do know. That's why we're not even going to mention it. That Boston lager. I won't even say. I'm not going to point no fingers. Mm -hmm. Boston Brewing Company. Yeah. Sam Adams. Beating him every time. Putting him down. Sierra Nevada doesn't come up with as many great craft brews as Samuel Adams, but they still, they keep it original, and they keep it uh, pretty complex. It's number two. I mean... It's number two. It's not bad at all. This is a great introduction to, like, IPAs and craft brews. Yeah. It still may be a big step for somebody who's used to Bud Miller Coors. And yeah, I remember my first time I had it, some guy that I used to hang out with, Used to drink them all the time in Guinness, and I couldn't stand either one of them. Times have changed. They're an, it's an acquired thing. Yeah. Guinness and hop bombs. I'm surprised at the hop in this pale ale. I, I wasn't under the uh, impression that pale ales even gave us much hop like a, a month ago. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good beer, then. It's good to sit back and hang out on. Not like the India pale ale. The only difference between the India Pale Ale and I guess a Pale Ale is the Indian Pale Ale was highly hopped to make it so it could travel to India and hops were a preservative and an antiseptic so this is just a, more hops than it already was so. You know Spencer you never seem to amaze me, cease to amaze me with how much you know about beer. I try man, I do my homework, I do that. You do. This, I mean, this is our uh, the way we do it. He's the expert, and I'm the uh, apprentice. I'm the drinker. <laughs> He's the tester. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm the guinea pig. He just sits here and tastes some. He likes to taste stuff. These fucking mosquitoes are horrible. Yep, purest quality, purest ingredients. Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. I'm gonna say the drinkability is easy, but very hoppy. Delicious piney hops. Very easy to drink. Um, I agree. I mean, the mouthfeel is very light and uh. Kind of bitter. Yeah. A little bitter. Damn, the bastard wood. We have a lot of mosquitoes in Virginia Beach because there's a lot of swamps and stuff around here. In the southern part of Virginia, in North Carolina. Yes, there are a lot of mosquitoes. I'm gonna say Sierra Nevada in the pale. 
pale ale category, I'm going to give it a double thumbs up. I, I concur. Double thumbs up. It's a really good beer. Sierra Nevada. So, do us a favor. And just get it. Just buy get one. It. Get it. I'm going to save my heart!